Hi, this is a follow-up video to a video I did the other day, less than a week ago, I think, about the state of Washington Square Park. The quote you see on the screen, pride destroyed the park, is a quote from someone in the video, uh, sorry, you're not gonna see her, but someone that talked to me while I took the pictures that you're about to see. So it's not my quote, someone else said it. <clears throat> but I wanna give some context. This time I'm making some notes. I wanna make this a little quicker than last time. If you go online, you'll see there's lots of pictures of the Pride Parade that was happened yesterday. I live in Greenwich Village. It goes through Washington Square Park or very near it. And I want to show images from that. If you go online, you'll see uh, the cops pepper sprayed some people. That made some, uh, some Twitter feeds. Um, and there's also a vendor was attacked. So you can see people, if you look online, you'll see these videos for that. There are lots of issues that this could touch on. But I want to talk about the issues of what's happening to the park. And again, I have a positive view on, we can improve situations like you're about to see. Systemic change begins with personal action. This is not a negative thing. This is something that gets me down, but motivates me to act and not give up. If you would like to act, sign up for my newsletter, sign up for my podcast, go to joshuaspartic.com, follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, contact me if you wanna change things like you're about to see. For context, I showed this at the end of the last video. This is an image from the movie, The Story of Plastic. This is a city in India. What you see here, this mountain is garbage. For people who think that this is a sanitation issue, there is no amount of sanitation that can handle this amount of stuff. This is in India, but I guarantee that if you went there 10 years ago, this was not there. What we're gonna see is I bet what this looked like, what India looked like 10 years ago, maybe five, but we are producing plastic faster than ever. We're producing garbage faster than ever, and we have, this is not a matter of sanitation. Yes, sanitation is an issue, but this is a matter of too much production and a culture that accepts this. So I wanted to start off with, oh yeah, I walked out this morning. <clears throat> I was gonna meet my sister uh, in Union Square to, I'll show you why I was gonna meet her there. And I'm, I was walking out and I, I'm gonna stop in Washington Square Park to pick up my usual garbage there. And I see way more garbage than I expected. All morning long, I've been seeing, I've been hearing um, the street sweepers um, garbage trucks, so they've cleaned up a lot. So as I'm walking to Washington Square Park, I say, look, this is, you know, they put out, the village is filled with rainbows, all sorts of stuff for pride. As I'm walking to the park, I see this, mm, kind of normal, a little more than usual, a little more than usual, but, you know, not too much. And what happened was I got to the park to pick up my usual garbage. This is Babo. This is right in front of one of the best restaurants, one of the top rated restaurants in the world. And this actually cleaned up a lot more because I got to the park, picked up my stuff, saw what you're about to see, went back and picked up more. And I'm sorry, I went back, got my camera to pick up some. And you'll see that there's dozens of people cleaning the park. There's garbage trucks filled, filled with it. Here's where I picked up some stuff. There was a lot more garbage here before. I'm just going to go through here and you can see the garbage that this is what's... Now, you might say, oh, it's after a parade. It's not a normal thing. I want to ask you as you watch this, what amount of garbage is acceptable? Because I have not used any products like this. At all. I've not drunk Gatorade in forever. I've not used a plastic cup in forever. I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty healthy. Actually, I wanna show you, I'm not sure if you can see, if you can see my little ride last weekend where I went out to, I rode 50 miles or so out to um, Gateway National Park and it's beautiful out there. And I'm living a great, healthy lifestyle without all this garbage. This was the part that was cordoned off. So all this was totally clean a couple of days ago, actually as of yesterday morning. Look, it's like, oh, you know, I'm having, uh, I'm, I'm done. I'll just leave this here. I'll go. So I came back to take these pictures. I was late to meet my sister. And by the way, we have not gotten to the garbage yet. And as I'm walking around taking these pictures, people, look, a city bike just lying there. What's the, like, why is there a bra sitting here? A bra? Just, I don't, you figure it out. And so people are stopping me. You know, I want to remind you, these are some of the like, most desirable places in the city up here in the background. And then what's this? Oh, I'm just done with my thing. Why did someone get this in the first place if they're only going to drink half of it? There are tons of mostly full water bottles that I find here all the time. And I, I got to mention that you'll see, yeah, this, this was covered when I went there first with litter. And there's dozens of these people going around. I don't know if they're volunteers or what. And they're going to pick up the garbage. So in the time that I went to pick up, uh, to go back and get my camera, they cleaned up most of this. This was covered with litter. Not like a little bit, not like this, but everywhere. Look, what is this? 
how does this happen? This is, I don't know what to say. This is wildlife. And do you see how trampled, I mean, this is a bird amongst this garbage. And it's all trampled here because this is where people go to the bathroom. They just walk out behind and they trample over everything. There used to be pretty, years ago, there were pretty flowers here. Forget about the flowers. I'd be happy with just dirt. I'd be happy with just dirt and no plastic. So here we go. Now we're getting up to where I got to where I said I got to go back. So here's the first serious trash can. Now I want you to see, do you see this woman here? This is a children's playground. What did you grow up? What did you grow up thinking was normal? Because this is what to a child today is normal. They grew up seeing this. So if this is not normal to you, if you're my age, I'm turning 50 in about a month, this is disgusting to me. But what I grew up in was disgusting to people before that. So think of what is going to be, dis if this is normal for the child on the swing behind this woman or in front of this woman, this will be accepted. That scene in India will become normal to someone else. Again, this is another angle, getting a bit more of it. There's that woman again with the baby on the swing. Could you bring a child into this context? Again, people talk about Greenwich Village as being one of the most expensive neighbors in the world. Now, I, don't live, I don't live like people around me do. I live on significantly less than anyone around because I know where to get all, you know what? I was gonna meet my sister in Washington Square Park because here, my mom and stepfather, I noticed that they throw, I don't know if you can see this, this is a sponge that I asked my mom and stepfather to save. This is what they would throw away, but it's still perfectly usable for me. So I was going to pick up the sponges that my mom left with my sister so that I would now have sponges. This is going to be like a year's worth of sponges. Here's, um, it's out of reach. The one that I use is like significantly more dirty than that. And while I'm there, they're selling beautiful summer vegetables. So here's this cauliflower that I bought. So it's five bucks. I was like, that looks like a really beautiful cauliflower. And I'm talking to the woman behind it. And I mentioned how she's like, do you want to cut off the leaves? I'm like, no, of course I eat the leaves. And so she gives me this compost. This is what she was going to take back to the farm. It's the leaves from someone else who cut them off. I'm just pointing that out as free vegetables that people talk about that it's like expensive to eat, um, to get stuff from the farmer's market. It's that was free. And if I went, she was saying this, I go, if I go there later, there would have been chopped off a lot more and I would have gotten a lot more free stuff. Also, while I was in, Washington, in Union Square, here's a pile of, normally I don't get packaged stuff, but this was on a park bench. This is food, that, little bits of carrots that are given away to homeless people, or whoever asks for it. And here, in, here it is, veggie snackers, baby cut carrots with ranch seasoning. So I don't know if you can see up here, there's a little ranch seasoning. Uh, so someone's taking carrots and made it into this doof into packaged stuff. So normally I don't get packaged food, but this stuff is totally sealed. And so if you're homeless in New York City, you can get lots of, here's apples. You can get this stuff free and they throw it out. I eat it. So I get a lot of free fruits and vegetables because I get this stuff. So I was on my way to meet my sister. But you know, that's not good enough for most people. They just got to throw the stuff out. Anyway, why am I angry at, oh, I'm angry because carrots when I buy carrots from the farmer's market, they're, they're dirty, you know, they're big carrots. They don't come with all this plastic. This plastic is, like this plastic, is gonna be around forever. None of this is necessary. So if you wanna say, oh, it's a special occasion, it's a park, I mean, it's a parade. No one needed any of this. There's water fountains around. And okay, in the past, there'd be garbage after a parade, but this plastic, was not around before, and it will be here 500 years from now. It'll be here maybe 1,000 years from now. And so I'm going just, these are trash cans. Here's a pride, it's a, I, I just love the juxtaposition here. It's this little uh, parasol, I guess, an umbrella. Colorful, and someone, I guess, maybe got nighttime and they didn't need it anymore. So for the 10 minutes or an hour, maybe they used it for a couple hours to be generous. And then there it is in, the grass in the, what would be beautiful plants. I'd like to adjust the position, how colorful the garbage is. So there are these garbage trucks going through and this woman stopped me. When I was about here, a woman stopped me and she was like, I couldn't, she was walking her dog and she said, I almost couldn't bring my dog into the park. She couldn't bring her dog into poop in a place that was so dirty. 
And okay, are you going to say that I'm homophobic because of this? This has nothing to do with any, I don't care who the parade was for. And I don't care there was a parade. I don't care there was a lot of people. If you don't ever use plastic bottles, you never litter plastic. Zero times a million is still zero. None of this is necessary. Look at these, what would be beautiful flowers. So over to the right here is where, if you look online and see the, the video of um, people attacking a, a vendor, attacking his, fruit, his food cart and then attacking him, and he gets frustrated because the cops don't help him. So here's where the cops stand. So they, they stand behind these barri barricades. So the people haven't gotten to clean up this part yet. You can't see with this angle how much dirt there is over here. So this is looking through the arch, not dirt, litter. More litter, more garbage. This is where, you know, this is, so a couple steps later from here, I, I stopped to talk to this woman and she was saying, you should have been here. So I, I of course, say to everyone, um, I come out here every day, I'm out here every, and I came out here in the morning a little while ago to look at the stuff. And people are saying, you should have been here earlier. So this one woman said, at 6 a.m. she came in and she said it was 10 times worse than what you see here. So what you see here is, according to her, 10 times worse. It was 10 times worse. So this is, I'm here at 9.30 and there's like dozens of people cleaning up and presumably they've been here for hours. Now here is where, actually not long ago, Catherine Garcia, who is I think third right now uh, for mayor um, number of votes, in primary votes um, for the Democrat ticket. She held an event right in this thing here where she spoke to people. And, but why did I take this picture? Because I'm, I'm gonna show it from the next side. Here again is a children's playground. So there, there's a few children here, 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock by, by this point. This is normal. This is what we are raising our children to see all the time in one of the richest neighborhoods in the world. You know, you might say some people, it was a hot day and people need water. First of all, there's water fountains. Second of all, people can bring their own containers. Third of all, you can take the container out with you. Fourth of all, drink it. This is half finished. And if you say people need, need to need uh, water, this is alcohol. Alcohol takes, uh, makes you more water. In the middle of the path. What is this? This is, uh, you know, this is after, do you see how empty this is? That means people have emptied this already. So this is the, the dregs of what has been here before. I love the color. How beautiful this rainbow flag is. I think I did, let me see, yeah, here. I took the daily news, I just brought up a page of the parade. So here's the parade. I ask you, why do we need all these cars? And you'll see later, these people walk the whole way. And you'll see in a second, there's an image of someone who's in a wheelchair. Yeah, definitely, people in wheelchairs need wheelchairs. But we don't need all these cars. And I don't know if you can see the garbage on the ground. All of these disposable flags. I'm all for rainbow flags. These are plastic. This is litter. Balloons are litter. Every time you see a balloon, that's wildlife getting their beaks and, and their, um, what do you call it for fish? It's, it's just destroying wildlife. And why the vehicle? Walk it. All this, look at the, do you see down here? Cop, cop, garbage. And if you look in people's hands, I guess there's a lot of phones. This is, all these flags, I'm all for the flag, by all means. It's gonna be there 500 years from now, but it's not gonna look all colorful like this. In fact, this person, I guarantee, is not gonna have that flag an hour or so from then. Look at this, the litter. This is plastic. It doesn't have to be that way. Garbage. Plastic, plastic. I look at this guy. Looking very serious in the suit. Uh, what are some other images? Um, I just want to, you know, all this plastic here. Here, yeah, she definitely needs a wheelchair. This, per this person definitely, needs, but look, look at this. And this is, uh, all right, so let me go back to the park. Another, do you, and do you see like how much this is after cleaning. So I guess they're gonna come through again. These people stopped me and they, uh, I don't know what they're doing. This shoot, there's two shoots going on. I don't know what they were for, but these two women stopped me and they said, we almost couldn't do our shoot because we couldn't get a shot without garbage in it. So here's 
some garbage. I was actually going to leave the park uh, over to the right here as so an exit, but then I saw this trash can, and then you'll see some more trash cans. I, I wasn't looking for this. I, you know, I wasn't trying to find it. People giving out stuff, I mean, free services for I forget what that was, and they print it up and they're like, we're going to help people, and it's... More garbage, and again, this has been emptied, so it's refilled. And I wanted to get this, uh, what's going on here? It, I mean, this was clearly a momentary thought of, oh, I have this slight hint of a, a perhaps I want something for a bit. And, it's, and, and then they eat half of it, and then it's going to be there forever. And the sweet green, this is like a sweet green container. It's garbage. They present themselves as like just salad or clean. It's garbage. Everything they sell is garbage. Sorry if I'm getting, getting worked up here. What is it? These are fries in here. Someone had a few fries, and then they're done with it. Why, you know, is it really a better life to get anything you want, anytime you want, whenever you want, wherever you want, however you want, no matter who pays the price later on? Look at how disgusting we've made this used to be grass in, a, in, a past, in past years. Now it's like everything has to be fenced off because no one respects this stuff. Here's my artsy shot of like someone's food with the close up. Here, it took me a while to figure out what this was because there's this dingy rag of a blanket. And so I figured out that this was a chair. And I took the shot. Some guy sleeping over there. You can't quite see it here how much the camera doesn't pick up how messy this is. Again, this is after people have been cleaning for hours. I'm going to get a shot of this. Uh, I mean, what, what is this? Like, why would someone get this in the first place? Is it, I mean, yeah, by all means, indulge. It's a free country. People can have whatever they want. But how much do we really want this? Is it really making our lives better to have this stuff available? I put to you, oh, let me go back to what I was saying before about um, this is not a sanitation issue. You can have all the sanitation in the world to pick this stuff up. This container and all, this, all the bags, this stuff is totally unnecessary. Again, there's water fountains. People can bring their own water. All of these single-use plastic containers. Let's just say the single-use stuff. I propose making it all illegal, making it go the way of asbestos, cigarette ads for children, leaded gasoline. There's plenty of good reasons for leaded gasoline. Plenty of good reasons. It also lowers our IQs. And there's plenty of reasons to why not profit off of selling cigarettes to kids. We've decided as a culture, I believe all liberal, conservative, whatever, We've decided that we don't allow asbestos. It, it, has, it, it does some great stuff. It's a great insulator, but it causes lung cancer. So we said it's, it's, we're going to make it illegal. Maybe the most hardcore um, anti-government people might be saying there shouldn't be a law about that. But I think most people accept and, and celebrate that we have laws to make we can't sell, you can't advertise cigarettes to children. You can't have open alcohol containers in public. That's, I didn't even mention that. And I don't see a problem with making this stuff illegal. Banning it. Do we ban the fries and the, and the doof, the really just pure deep fried stuff? I don't know. Let's leave that for a later stage. I'd like to see a place where people just don't buy it and people don't make it because why would we make it? Because it's so awful. Okay, so then after this, this is the exit to the park over here. So I went to meet my sister, got the sponges, inadvertently picked up the... This is... So you're... About a year or about six months from now, I'm going to take a picture of two years' worth of garbage. And keep in mind that a fair amount of the garbage is going to be stuff that I picked up that other people were throwing away. Normally, I, wouldn't, I would never get baby carrots at a store. But it's literally being thrown away by homeless people to whom it was given for free. They eat the doof and they eat the chips. They eat the, the candy that gets given to them. But they don't eat the stuff, this stuff. So I go and pick that up from her. On the way home, this was not on the parade route. It was not far off of it. But this is just also just a regular street and I you know I had the camera with me so I took this picture and I last time I showed a picture or two of the can people and so this time I saw this person here and this was not the largest bunch of cans from one person that they pick it up to get the deposits and I don't know if there's a movie a documentary I forget the name of it where it showed so-called pickers in um, Rio uh, in uh, Brazil so there's some huge garbage dump 
where every time a garbage truck comes in, they dump out everything, and the pickers go through and pick out all the, all the stuff that they can get some value out of it. So people are throwing away enough stuff that people can live off of the garbage. And if you see that, you might think to yourself, oh man, I hope that never happens in America. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have pickers in this country, and they can make a living off of other people's garbage. Not one of these containers is necessary. Not one. If you never drink another bottled water container again. All right, say you live in Flint, Michigan. Go for it. But the remaining 99.99999% of us do not ever need it. And in fact, this causes Flint, Michigan, not this particular bottle, but this system of not caring about the environment, of, of lack of stewardship, of chasing efficiency and growth over stewardship and resilience and enjoying what you have. So we have pickers in this country. So if you think that it's not going to happen here, forget it. It's happening here unless we act, unless we change our culture to say this is not a sanitation issue. Yes, sanitation, we need sanitation, but we need less sanitation. Ultimately, when we get to a place where people don't ever buy bottled water again, the soda, you never need another soda again. If you never drink another Coca-Cola, Pepsi ever in your life again, you will be better off for it. As I'm walking home, here's another guy. I took this picture really quick because I think that guy saw me get the camera on. I didn't want to make him feel bad. So here's another shot from behind. And he's got all this garbage. This is our, and I wanted to close off. Here's the closing off. I passed by this place and like, here's our rainbows. This is what we think of as pride, I guess. But that woman in the park who said that she was there at 6 a.m. and she said it was 10 times worse, she's the one who said to me, pride, kill, pride destroyed the park. I didn't say that that was her. So there we go. I, I guess let me bring back to, I hope that you'll get in touch with me. If you find this acceptable, please tell me how this is acceptable. If you think this is purely a sanitation issue and all we got to do is manage our garbage more, let me know. Because I'd, I'd love to be, I'd like to find out that I'm wrong. I think that I'm right that this, if we don't stop it, we are going to have this. This will be the United States. This will be outside our, not just our major cities, our small towns, everywhere. We can change this. Systemic change begins with personal action, with personal transformation. If you get bottled water, I put to you, never ever get a, bottled wa a bottle of water ever again. If you get stuff like this, never ever get it again. Unless, I mean, get it out of the trash if, if, if you're like me. Don't throw away your, this is still good. I don't know what's on this residue, but I'm pretty healthy. Anyway, contact me. I'd love to hear what you think. That's Pride Destroyed the Park.